Hello, my name is David Cooper, and I'm Principal Horn of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. <laughs> This is Ein Heldenleben by Richard Strauss, a piece which gave its North American premiere right here on this stage in 1900 with Theodore Thomas and the Chicago Symphony. This piece features a three octave range from low B flat to high B flat and starts with an opening arpeggio with triplets and then quickly goes into 16th notes. One of the pitfalls for me on this is that my triplets oftentimes want to rush going up that arpeggio. And coming down, I often want to compress those 16th notes. The challenge is to make this excerpt absolutely rhythmic and absolutely secure and not rushing. So I need a really loud metronome that I can hear over the sound of my horn. The Dr. Beat DB66 made by Boss is my preferred metronome of choice. The next thing I use is the tuning CD by Richard Schwartz, which comes in A440, A441, and A442. I love it because it has all of the tonalities and it features the root, the fifth, and the octave and makes for tuning within key signatures really easy. And when I practice it, I just work on chunks. The first chunk I'll do is the opening arpeggio. So that'll be the first bar and a half, seven beats. And that's it. And the first thing I do is just play along with a drone in the key of E flat. Okay, so I've got a general frame of reference for where my notes are. Now let's do it again and play it louder. Now I'm gonna add triplets to it, triplet subdivisions. I have my metronome set to about 50. And then we work that up. Let's go a little faster. We're now at 60. And we're not going to go on from there until we get it up to tempo, which is about 118 for the quarter note. So now let's move on to that next measure. We no longer have triplets as our underlying subdivision. We have 16th notes. So let's go back to just finding the pitch. Remember, that fifth is really telling, so make sure we get that in tune. Now let's add some subdivisions. And I like to start with 30 second notes because I can hear repetitions on the 16ths. Okay, now we can go into 16th notes. And 
and then we'll work it up. And then the, the proof is in the pudding when we put these two sections together. This really is the hardest part of the piece for me. So I generally work on all of this in chunks and just go from really slow up to tempo. I find the sweet spot for me in playing this excerpt through perfectly with all the details in time and in tune will be around 88 to 94. So that's my practice tempo. And then you know, when I'm getting ready um, to play it, I take it up to 118. <laughs> Lastly, breathing. Breathing's a real challenge for this one. For me, I like to stay very full with my lung capacity. So I take a nice two measure breath before I start. The first seven beats are on one breath, and then the next eight beats are on another breath. And some people might breathe after this G. But I like to continue that phrase. And I breathe here. And the challenge is to get a full tank of air without clipping that third beat, that written C flat. And I find that it's always um, a challenge for me, but it's a challenge to get students as well to take a full lung load of air in a fraction of a second. So we can all practice by when we have these you know, tiny pauses to really suck in that air and really fill up our lungs. This is a really fun excerpt to play. And remember, your committee for auditions, while they might seem scary behind the curtain, we're your greatest champions. We want to hear you succeed because there's no greater feeling than hearing a piece that we love played really well. Good luck and keep practicing.